Hedge Nordic, your single access point to the Nordic hedge fund industry. Can you give a little background on the launch of the fund? And why did you decide to, to start it last year? Yeah, so the decision to, to start a fund actually was made in um, the fall 2018, and we've been working actively on the fund since 2018. So it, we, we did take our time to, to get started. Uh, so we launched the fund in February 2020, which was a spectacular timing with uh, the volatility in the market uh, that came right after. Um, but some of the strategies in, in our fund, uh, we have a very long track record for, uh, for example, in Norwegian fixed income and the TMT absolute return strategy. But to get the profile of the fund that we wanted, we also wanted to um, include a few uh, newer strategies that we needed to test properly before the launch. Yeah, and how do you introduce the fund to, uh, to new investors? So the DMB multi-asset fund is a multi-asset slash multi-strategy uh, fund that seeks to combine traditional and alternative return drivers. The fund does not seek to be uh, market neutral, uh, but it aims to limit the fund's beta to traditional asset classes like equities. All strategies are managed in-house, uh, so this is not a fund of fund. What is the reason behind this uh, multi-strategy approach to, to investing? So the reason that we want to include both uh, systematic and discretionary strategies is to provide uh, diversification in the fund. In the uh, Norwegian market, the uh, DMB asset management is well known for its sector focus in equities, for example, in technologies. Uh, but we also are in Norway market leaders in portfolio management in the fixed income area. And we have a very experienced quantitative uh, uh, portfolio management teams in the uh, equity uh, on the equity side. How, how many and, and what types of uh, strategies does the fund currently invest in? Is it nine strategies so, that you have? Yes, that is correct. We do have nine strategies and they are across uh, long only, equity and fixed income, relative value, equity long short, and also a trend following strategy. What basis do you determine the allocations to each of the, each of the strategies? Uh, so the basis of, of the allocation is that we are um, expected to be uh, roughly equally weighted in, in risk uh, among the strategies. But we um, uh, also look at um, their return potential and their volatility uh, and correlations be between uh, the strategies. If you were to, to group the strategies based on their role in the portfolio, uh, how, how would you group them? The long only equity strategies in the fund are there for their uh, return potential over time. Uh, in this area, we do not seek to deliver a return only from the beta, uh, but also from alpha through exposure to strategies that have a good downside protection. Uh, we also have a fixed income uh, long only allocation um, to provide downside protection. Uh, and this is although that we are aware of the limited uh, benefits that fixed income will provide in terms of uh, diversification uh, at these levels of, of interest rates. Uh, therefore, the remaining strategies are a very low net market exposure mm -hmm. and are expected to deliver returns independent of, of market direction. And I also want to add that we have, do have a trend component in the fund that is expected to do particularly well in extended market downturn trends. Do you plan to uh, extend the range of strategies that you invest in? Uh, so we are, uh, our allocation to these strategies are for the long term. The, we are, we base all our allocation on the long, medium to long term potential in, in the different strategies. That does not exclude us for to constantly be working on on new strategies that we could potentially add to the fund, um, and we do work on uh, three to five uh, strategies at the moment. Uh, I'm not 
sure that all of them will reach the fun. Uh, so, but that is uh, of course something something that we will be working on on the side. But the main idea is to have the strategies in the fund for for the longer term. Yeah, and uh, which of the strategies do you expect to contribute most to to returns over a longer period of time? All strategies uh, will deliver um, or contribute to returns over time but that they will do so in different periods. Um, the funds allocation to long only equities will probably generate the highest return over time, uh, but in period of weaker market, equity markets, uh, we expect the alternative strategies to add, add particular value. And uh, these uh, strategies are, are predominantly market neutral and hence their return uh, will come from pure alpha. Yeah, and uh, what should, a new investor expect from 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 this fund do you have any return or sharp ratio targets that you follow yeah so the fund has a target of uh, four percent uh, gross return or above cash over the medium to long term uh, and then and we expect a volatility to be between four and seven percent hedge nordic your single access point to the nordic hedge fund industry